Hello, Shadowcat back with more RimWorld, and today we have a very lofty goal. We need to get everything from here to over here. Now, last time we managed to land our androids over here, and we built ourselves a rudimentary base where we could at least have storage. That much is done now, but now comes the big part of actually making a livable base with the additional complication of, I actually need to get everyone over here. This is not going to be easy, quick, or necessarily fun. But, I do have everything planned out. So, let me give you the very, 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 very brief rundown. So, here's how this is going to work. Number one, we have two advanced geothermal generators. These are giving us a grand total of like, uh, let's see, 5200 times 2 is going to be 10,400 watts of power. Which is good. We're going to need lots of power. I mean, even with the two uh, advanced geothermal generators, we only have 6,000 left. That means that we are using over 4,000 watts of power just having all of these benches up. Yeah, it's significant. Of course, we have all of our storage here. And it's a mess. Don't worry, this will get cleaned up eventually. But eventually is also not going to be too soon either. Down here, I think I know basically what I'm going to do. So we have this, this chem fuel pump. I built it between games. Just to get this started, because it takes a really, really long time for this thing to actually produce chem fuel. We're going to get more chem fuel, but it's not going to be for this. This is just, you know, it, it's ancillary. No, the main show is going to be down this way. Here's how this is going to rock. This is going to be my combination of dormitory slash barracks, rec room, and kitchen. All of this space right here. It's going to be pretty good. And of course, this room up here, this will go to Mark. So that's going to work out pretty well. In addition, I have all of my oil stuff for, uh, planned out up here, so that's good. So this is going to be the storage and workshop area. Obviously, I already kind of explained that, but all these, these tables are here. I'm not moving them. It took a really long time to get all these set up, and I didn't even set them up very well. So that being done, we then get down to the ship. Now this, we're going to have to protect really good and really often. This base is going to have to be a fortress. And don't worry, it will be. Not only do I have the base planned out, but there's going to be a perimeter wall around everything. It's going to be made out of the hardest stone that I can. I may even make it double layer if I have to. If I have to go through and put turrets in all of this, I will. I may even make a proper kill box. I may put it right here in the crook of things. We'll see how this goes. This would be a good place for a kill box, actually. I could clear out a lot of this mountain, and depending on how much of the mountain I can clear out, we'll, we'll make it work. So that's the general plan. Now, thankfully, new map, and I, of course, you know that I went through and I updated everything. There's a ton of oil here. <laughs> Thank God for that. Thank God it's still here. Three quarters of a million liters. That is enormous. And I cannot wait to get this done. Right now I have all the androids out mining steel because we're going to need it. And we're already up to, you know, almost 5,500 steel. So that's going to be good. Meaning everything over here we can start working on. I'm going to go ahead and I want to get these started. I also want to get a little bit of kind of, what's the word I want? Just some smaller things down, like putting lights in here, putting lights in all of these. Uh, over here, these are synthaline walls, but we don't have any synthaline. We, we ran out. I sent like all of my synthaline over and we ran out. Not to worry because we can make another synthaline refinery or more to the point, I can get the one from this base sent over because, you know, there it is. But that's not going to do us any good without oil. Over here, I have deconstructed pretty much everything. All the shelves have been uh, minimized. 
All the skips have been minified, everything. It's all been minified and brought in. I have people that are sick with the flu. We have no medicine, but I we, we still have the the IV stand, we have the vitals monitor, we have this vital station, so I'm not too worried about it. How's everyone doing? Immunity is 41 to 34. You are 36 to 35. That's not great. And Jennifer, 39 to 32. Okay, so no one is great. I mean, it's not like this is this is just over. And I did tell them to plant some heal root, but I don't know that any of it will actually be done in time. We'll have to wait and see. So in the meantime, our focus is over here. And right now, they are bringing everything to these. We do have the components, don't we? Yeah, we must, because he brought components over. I didn't see components, but where might they be? There they are. There's components. And we got 35 of them left. Plus, we haven't actually gone through and mined any. We're going to have to mine every mineral out of this map. But, you know, well, there, that means that there's still some resources left. Yeah, see, here's some. Compacted machinery. There's 11 on the map that I can see, and there's going to be more inside the map that I can reach. So, I'm not worried about that. Okay. So, this well is up. Now I just need them to install some steel into it and get to drilling. It's going to take time, but it'll be alright. Um, we're also going to need to get a launch facility set. Psychite addiction? Navarro? Why? Better question. How? Yayo? Why? Why were you bin or why why were you taking Yayo? Were you on a binge or something? Stop doing that. You shouldn't be able to have that. Yeah, you're that's turned off. Bad. You are a bad colonist. Oh, you have a chemical fascination, that's why. You know what? I'm gonna stand by what I said. You're a bad colonist. Bad Navarro. Okay, anyway, so those are all minified. Pretty much everything over here is ready to go. We are just waiting for things to progress. So again, over here, uh, we've got the... Ooh, this needs a little bit of power, actually. Let's run this cable down this way. And it's going to have to go all the way down. I will turn this into a launch facility. So we're going to have all of our, our oil production over here. On this side, a cold snap? I'm not worried about a cold snap. All the people will be just fine. Oh, wait, the cold snap is over here. Oh, well, the androids are actually going to love this. How cold is it going to get? They love the cold. Okay, why is this not connected? Reconnect? There we go. Okay, that can run. So yeah, I will turn this area over here into a, uh, a transport area. So I can come over and just say this is uh, 12. Okay, so right about here, I think. I'll just build a whole bunch of transport pods. You know what? That should be good. That, yeah, that should be good. Six on either side, and we'll be able to, or I'll, I'll uh, have the chem fuel piped in directly to them. And this time, I actually do have some reasonable piping. So from the oil wells, it'll go up here to the storage tanks, which will then drain into the chem cracker, which goes into the chem fuel dispenser. I will go ahead and put a couple of siphons and pumps in here. So, you know, they'll be able to use those. And then from the chem fuel, it either goes to the pump or it goes to the machines. It works. It works well. Or at least it will. It's not done yet. Uh, Harper, you're rusted. That's not good. Um, perhaps I should set you to get painted. Yeah. We need some caskets, right? Here we go. Android pods. 
I'll go one there, one there, one there. Let's make sure these are at least normal quality. I'll set them to medical as soon as they're done. Yeah, because I don't want anyone to be rusted. Rusted makes you slow. Yeah, see? Manipulation minus 10%, moving minus 10%. Rust is no bueno. All right, set that to medical, and hopefully somebody will come by and give you a paint job. Yeah, your, your own doctoring still sucks, but that's okay. We have lots of better doctors. And it's not like you can really fail painting. I think. I hope. So while they're doing that, how are we doing over here? This drill is already 25% done. This one is only 10%. But that's fine. How much more uh, mining do we have to do on this map anyway? You guys have mined out so much steel. Yeah, we're up to almost 5,600. After uh, building those, uh, the, 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 the oil wells. I can speak. Yeah, so there's still a lot more uh, steel. Stop saying uh. You sound like you're standing up in front of an auditorium, stammering your lines out like a child who has only just barely started working on public speaking. You are better than this. Be better than this. So yes, uh, there's steel in the map, and we will get that for the time being. I don't know how to fill the time. We just need to wait until this is done. So I'll check back with you in a few minutes. There it is. Flame on. All right, we have one oil well that is up and running. And you have no idea how boring it was just sitting here watching and waiting for it to come online. How's this one doing? 97.3%. It was actually kind of a race here between who was going to get their well up first. I enjoyed the competition. It was fun. But we have one up and running. This one will be up and running soon. I have the containment tanks, or yeah, containment, containing tanks up here. And is that even the right word? I'm not even sure. This one is set to drain, so everything should be going into this one, which is why it is filling up quickly. And now that we have this one up, yeah, that's going to work well. I'm going to let this get a little bit of oil in it. Then we will get the crude cracker up. We're going to build this right now so we have somewhere to store the chem fuel. I built a synthylene refiner. So as soon as we have chem fuel, we should, should, start turning that into synthylene. I have all of my recipes set here already. It should be good. Over here, everyone has survived their, their flu, even Zarin, who was a little touch and go there for a while because Zarin only has one kidney. And in RimWorld, kidneys, since they give you blood filtration, are key when it comes to fighting off illnesses. Yeah, so that was, that was kind of touch and go there. I've also got them digging out a path here so we can walk around the outside of the base. I'll see how much of this I can clear away without exposing, you know, the uh, the mountain. See, there's a spot right there. We're not digging this out. I am not going to have bugs in my base. A volcanic winter? For my robots? No, say it's not so. But they like the cold. Why would you do this to them? All in all, we're making really good progress. All right, that's done. Let's get this crude cracker up and running. And also, let's work on getting a couple of pumps. So there's a pump and a siphon. The pump is for taking it out. The siphon's for putting it in. We get one of each. That way, all of the chem fuel that I pick up from things like uh, this, we can put into the storage tanks. It'll be useful. For now, however, I want them turned off. Livestock wranglers, not interested. We don't need livestock. We're already up to almost 600 liters of oil. That's good. How much power do we have? A little over 4K watts. Not the best, because this thing is going to use a ton of power. Yeah. It'll be alright. It'll be fine. 
If I really need the power, maybe I'll put some solar panels over here or something. Although with the volcanic winter, I've just kind of shot how good the solar panels will be. What else do I have for options? Power. Hmm. Well, there's a Helixian gas geyser right there. I could tap that. Run a whole bunch of Helixian generators? Maybe. So, uh, Helixian pump. Do, 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 do. Wait, here we go. Helixian gas power generator. I could put one, two, three right next to it so we would have attached power to run pretty much just this thing exclusively. I like it. And you know, isn't there even research for like industrial sized generators? Hmm. Let's look. A grizzly bear ate my red panda? So you did. Oh well. I really didn't care about that red panda. Uh, anyway, research. Um, vanilla expanded. Somewhere in here is like, uh, industrial generators right here. Yeah, build industrial grade generators capable of storing uh, significantly more fuel and producing higher power, including an industrial helixian gas power generator. I think we should do that. As a matter of fact, Oh, something ate my guinea pig, too? What? Wobbler! What are you doing? You're killing us, okay? Okay! So, you, you killed half of our animals. You killed our nutrient solution dispenser. We're down to one. You do realize we don't actually really have any other food. Well, I mean, I suppose we could turn some of this into food. I mean, why not? We'll see how that goes. We may have to start growing rice or potatoes or something. Damn it, Wobbler. Actually, you know what? You have resurrection psychosis. That's actually why. Also have dementia. But you know what? When we were here last, we made a healer mech serum. Now, I did say that some people come back wrong. I think that maybe if we give you this healer mech serum, you might be right again. So, operations. Administer the healer mech serum. Let's see what this does. All right. It cured the resurrection psychosis. So I guess that's good. You still have dementia, though. We'll have to watch you. And I can't just make another healer mech serum. That ain't gonna fly. You hurt us. Do not make me regret bringing you back to life. Over here, we're back to mining. Is that because you literally have nothing better to do? You literally do not have anything better to do. Why not? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Why is nobody trying to make uh, chem fuel? The network is set up. Yeah, everything is in place. Someone go make some chem fuel. Why is no one making chem fuel? Let's see if I can force you to. Okay, Solarian. So go ahead, recharge. Okay, there we go. Wait, what are you doing? Get over here and do this. Oh, is there just not enough power? There's not enough power. Okay, because this is drawing too much. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's let's reduce the power. We'll go down all the way down to power level one and see what we can do. Unicorn, if you get a chance, would you run that thing and let's see where our power lies. We got 4,000 watts right now. And that thing was trying to pull 3,600 watts. Ooh, even at power level 1, it drops us down to 100. Ooh, that is rough. 
That is really rough. Uh, siphon. You know what? Uh, turn the siphon back on. But we are producing. That's good. And, yeah, we are totally going to need the, uh, this Helixian gas geyser over here. But that's fine. I mean, part of our job here is to tap everything. Oh, and speaking of everything, this series has been going on for a long time, but I haven't forgot our goals. One of the things that we need to do is we need to turn Mark into a bionic god. Now, we already got the bionic part. The god part's over here. So here's the anima tree. Before I can terraform the map, I need to deal with this tree. Specifically, Mark needs to come over here and deal with this tree. I need Mark to come over here and absorb all the power of this anima tree and take it with him. He needs to be fully connected with the whole anima force thing. Then we can terraform and leave. And over here, how are we doing? Oh, good. The amount of synthium we're getting, we're finally able to finish up some of these buildings. Good, 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 good. Now let's pull the Popeye there. Yeah, I won't do that again. I run the risk of attracting a, a wild olive oil. Actually, it occurs to me some people watching this probably don't even have a clue what I'm talking about. It's okay. Go ask your parents. Who are probably in a retirement home. Because Popeye is that old. <laughs> uh, it's fine, though. It's fine. Seriously, go call your parents, though. Do it. Do it now. Pause the video and go call your parents. And while you're calling your parents, I'm going to go ahead and get these transport pods started. So there's six of them, which should be fine for now. I'm going to bring this down here just like that. That will be fine for fueling all the transport pods. Ooh, wait, actually, no, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that yet. Um, in fact, you know what I do want to do? I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to put a valve right here. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. Because I don't want to dump all of my chem fuel into these. And it will absolutely dump all of my chem fuel into the transport pods if I do not have this switch thrown. All right, so toggle that. There we go. Now you can go ahead and keep building. I don't have any chem fuel right now. Most of it's going into production, but still, when I get some, I don't want it all to go into the transport pots. Not yet. And even this is just going to be to send steel and I guess components back to the other base. I'll get these transport pods put together. We'll also need to get working on walls. How much synthlene do we have? Where does it say? It says up here. We have 134 synthlene. That's not a lot. But it's enough for us to get started. Well, kind enough to get started. We'll get a little bit more. Then I'll start planning stuff out. We need to get all of this set up for all of our people. Or we could be sieged? So, where are they? Oh, they're over here. Oh. We got us some robots. That's fine, though. That's, that's actually kind of fine. All right, everyone. While the androids are working on building the new base, you're going to have to defend the old one. Everybody get out here. I really don't want to give them time to set up. I definitely don't want to get them time to shoot back. So once everyone is here... Zarin, you are still... Oh, that's because you're a friggin' addict. Okay, so you are absolutely useless. Jennifer, Wobbler, Margarita? Why? Oh, Margarita, you still... 
Uh, you need a weapon. Do I have a weapon for you anymore? <sighs> I may not. Um, you know what? There is a pistol over here. Go get this hand cannon. I know, bad timing, but that's all I got. Okay, everyone move up. Okay, okay, okay. Um, they're all coming, they're all fighting back. Okay, they're, they're launching their assault. I'm going to tell everyone to go ahead and take cover. Jennifer, I want you to come and hide back here. Mark, please be careful up there. Okay, Leo is already down. Jennifer, get in there and rescue. And Margarita, where are you at? Perfect. Forget the uh, the rocket launcher. And I need you to go search and destroy. Wobbler. Take that. What do you mean? Oh, wait, no. Grab the battle rifle. Okay, help hold them off. I mean, they're just androids. Who needs rescue now? Richard. Okay, Jennifer. I need you to come back and rescue Richard as soon as you're done. You have got to be kidding me! How did they kill Mark? You shot him in the brain! He's wearing a helmet! God damn it! Okay. End these androids. God, they don't give up. There they go. All right, no. Just, just rescue. Margarita. All right, I need you to come and rescue Wobbler. And Jennifer. As soon as you're done there, I'll need you to come back and get Zarin. Well, that was garbage. That was awful. And Mark is dead. Mark is not going to remain dead, obviously. The question is just how much work is it going to take and how many more people am I going to lose in the process? A mad stallion? Are you kidding me? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. First you siege me. Now you want to attack me with wild animals. What now? Leo is dead again. All right, bad horse. Manuel, rescue Richard. How many more people can we save, if any? What happened to you? Extreme blood loss. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's major break risk. You're a robot. You don't have a break risk. We have problems over here. Zarin is dead. Jennifer, I left you drafted for too long. Who else is going to die? Colonist needs rescue. Okay. <sighs> Jennifer. Need you to come and rescue. What's your condition? You'll be dead in nine hours. Triage says you need to remain. You're going to be dead in two hours. Six hours... I don't think I can save Navarro. 
Uh, at the rate things are going, I'll be sending a lot more than steel back. Where are you going? Oh, you're picking up more medicine. I hadn't planned on this. Wait, Richard is going to be dying. Would you triage? Okay? Triage. No, I think it's too late for Navarro. Yep, too late for Navarro. Four people dead from one siege. I'm a little pissed. I'm a little bit pissed. Okay. We have a lot of cleanup to do. I want everything over here cleaned up. I want it all collected. All these androids, all their weapons, all the bodies. We're going to need to have a new zone over here. No, well, no, we don't. Actually, I just need to expand this one. To hold everyone. So many dead colonists. I'm pissed. How are we doing over here? This is out of power. Why is it out of power? Because this thing is using all of my power. Okay, we need more power over here, and I'm losing my patience. I really am. We're out of components. Okay, I need to start squeezing some watts out of wherever I can. Time to turn some of these off. Anything that we don't need right now, I need to lose it. That can stay off. As many things as I can turn off. All right, obviously, I can't turn this console off because we need that power. Disease infection. Yeah, I am not surprised. Corpse obsession, Manuel. No. No. Just no. Put a stop to this. We have too much to deal with right now to be dealing with your feelings. Okay? And now we're being raided again. Can you not leave me alone? What is this? Oh, hell. It's a termite. So this is one of the new... Um, the, the new mechanoids that came with the ideology update. And since we updated... Now we have to deal with these. These termites specialize in breaching. They come with essentially rocket launchers. And we have two pikemen and a lancer. And I only have seven people here. I need everyone to gather up here. I don't know where he's going, but it looks like they're coming up here. I think the termites automatically want to head for walls. It's raining, so my accuracy is going to be absolute garbage. And I would say that their accuracy would be garbage too, but, I mean, the AI always has good aim, no matter what. Alright, come out here. You have a longer range than he does. I thought you had a longer range. Alright, I need you to circle around. Do that. I don't stay don't stand still, don't give him an open shot. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this search and destroy. Everyone come up here, 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 and then find cover. Oh, the termite's dead. I guess you're not that heavily armored. Take out the needlers and watch out for that lancer.
Okay. Uh, one pikeman down. You're a tough pikeman. Put it down. There. Pikeman down. All right. Now the Lancer's down. How bad were injuries here? Harper, you're okay. Solarian, you're okay. Number 58? And Wobbler gave up. Are you kidding me? After I wasted a healer mech serum on you. Richard, please explain to Wobbler that they're not allowed to leave. Thank you. Now, can we please get back to work? Please. And Jennifer, come rescue Wobbler. Medical emergency, Manuel. Yeah, I bet. Blood loss extreme is only at 65%? Okay. Well, I mean, because of everything, your consciousness is at 10%. If consciousness hits zero, you're dead anyway. Oh, an absolute cluster. Absolutely ridiculous. First, I get my own, my, my own colonists slaughtering my animals. Again, thank you, Wobbler. I get androids wiping out half of my human colonists. Not how I expected this to go. So, after all of that, after all of the raids, after all of the slaughter, my time is getting a little bit long and my patience a little bit short, so I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. During that time, I'm going to continue working the refinery overtime if I can. Hopefully, I will be able to get a Helixian power source up Oh, Art is going berserk? How's that working for you? I, you want to pick on the mechanical muffalo. And you're going to piss off Margarita in the process. Richard's going to come and rescue. Yeah, don't go berserk in my colony. It will not be tolerated. I'm going to work on getting the living quarters over here built up so that my human colonists, the ones that are left, have a place to move into. At some point, I'm going to have to get back to work here, but we have a long way to go before <sighs> crash opportunity. Yeah, we don't have any room to do opportunities. We have a lot of work to go before we can get started on resurrector serums, and now we're going to need four which is going to mean uh, 4 times 14 is going to be 56 advanced components. I want to scream. But I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to see if I can salvage this. So, if you're enjoying this game, if you enjoy colony builders, you enjoy, you know, sci-fi futurist stuff like this, or you just like seeing me rage at this game then go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so you're here for every video because the next one is sure to be just as fun as this. And if you know someone else who likes rage bait content like this, share this with them because if I'm going to be angry, everyone should be angry. Or amused. It depends on the person. And at least leave a like, leave a comment down here. Only likes and comments will make my attitude better after this. So do both of those things and I'll see you back here next time for more RimWorld. Till then, do better than my colonists and take care.